Welcome back, Bob. I haven't played Belveth in a while. Got the PTA. We're playing to kill everyone and everything. It's definitely one of those crack and board games. Zach, uh, Cassidan, Braum. And then, so the Bork helps you kill those tankier targets, and it also helps you kill these squishier targets faster. With that in mind, maybe I'll max my E after like two or three points in the queue. Looking for an invade level one on his Raptors. Belveth has that very, very strong invade, and against basically any tank jungler, you're going to win the level one. Belveth has four abilities level one with her Q, as well as the passive, so. We're waiting until uh, these Raptors spawn, and then we'll walk right in there. Just right off the rip, doing a little slime. Waiting. And then generally looking to attack the lanes, reset, attack the lanes, reset. Hello. Auto Q moving. Ward. Auto Q. Auto Q. Auto Q smite. W moving. Auto Q. Auto. There's the PTA proc on that guy. And then we can look to attack the Zac right here. Or not. Oh, we don't lane anymore. Eh, yeah, maybe. Eh, yeah, maybe, you know, a little bit of health potion, you know. Just walk right in. He's gonna soften those Krugs up for me. Q. Auto Q. Auto Q. Auto W. There's his flash. And that's a Krug for me. Yes. Yes. Me pick Belveth. Me walk at enemy jungler. Me so good. We shared the XP on that one, so I'm honestly not sure if uh, I would get level 3 off his camps or not. So we're just gonna follow him around the jungle. We go back to our blue side. To kind of give up the tempo here. He needs two camps for level three, Bob. Two! So even if he gets these wolves on my way there, we do not care. Moving. Q. Auto. Q. Auto. Q. Auto. W. Q. Moving. Auto. Q. Got away for Zoe here. Hopefully Zoe can finish this guy off. What? Not that guy. Whatever, man. Auto. Moving. Auto. Flash. Oh, shit. A Kaisa appears. Oh, man. Okay. And then we'll do a... Dagger, question mark? I'm just going to wait for Longsword. If you stay on the pad here, you maintain the home guards. Alrighty. Let's get back out there, Bob. He still needs another camp for level 3. Me, personally, I'm going to do the red buff and then continue to cause some problems here. We keep doing this until we have the Noon Quiver. And then once we have the Noon Quiver, we full clear, go like level 6.5. And then that's when the, the real game starts. But until then, it is Schleim Central. Where we play the tempo in which we fight when we're stronger than the enemy. A.K.A. every single level up. And then, go back to farm afterwards. So Zach is level 3. Let's go ahead and try to get into the river here. Saving my W. Auto Q and moving. Zachary, I love you. You already know. You already know I would give you a thousand kisses if I could. It's gonna go full HP, but big man, I got a smite, and I know you probably don't. There's a ward in that bush. Welp, this is pretty hard with the Braum being there, and I don't have my support. So we're just gonna uh, go into his red side. I was thinking maybe go back to my camp. Ridiculous. Stupid thought. QW, auto, QE. Q. Ah! Close. Zach might kill me on the raptors here. It don't matter. It don't matter to die a little bit sometimes. Q. Q. Ah! Smite. Auto E. Moving. Auto. W. Q. Nice. That was actually well played. The red buff and then spacing out his W sealed the deal right there. Alrighty. So now, how close am I to the Noon Quiver? 950? We're going to clear until we have that bad boy, and then we will reset. Level 3, we're kind of on the down curve of the whole power spike here. Especially where I didn't get entirely juiced. It's been pretty messy, but that's fine. It's totally fine for it to be messy like this. So now I want to reset, get the Noon Quiver, clear my camps, and I go level 5. I go from level 3 to level 5. The enemy laners in the meantime go from level 5 to level 6. So, you know, it stays pretty within range. Put a point into our queue for that reason, then I'll path up towards the Void Grubs. Noon Quiver into the top side. On this patch, they made it where you can't buy the Doran's Blade with the jungle item anymore, so that definitely hit Belveth's early Schleim potential. You could get boots, two longswords, and a Doran's Blade. It was the most overpowered bullshit to ever exist. 
and it's gone. It's never coming back. So now this is going to be what we're working with now for the best for the entire health of the game. Let's clear up. So the Noom Quiver gives us 30 AD, 15% attack speed, and that 20 physical damage on hit against monsters and minions. So that really increases our clear speed as we're hitting the big part of the camp. Pathing up to the Void Grubs here, we're going to hit level 5. And if Zack messes around enough, I'm going to take his red side as well. Really just uh, prioritizing the farm. We've already done our plays. There's not any obvious attack for me in the lane, so... Just generally pathing top side here. And in the river we have all the options. Gank mid, top, or invade. Three points into Q. We might max the E after this, but since we're primarily farming right now, that's what we're working with. We're going to smite E. We use the E early so that it comes up again. A lot of people ask me that one, man. A lot of people in the comments. It's pretty obvious. We use the E early. Like, not for the damage. I know it deals more damage when they're lower. I know, Bob. And so that it comes up again as we enter the river and we're in position to fight. Alrighty, we'll slime as many camps as we can here. We know where Brahma's at, so that's good. But I do not know where the vein is at, which makes things harder for me. I'm going to move into the bush here, not that way, because he would see me coming. Zachary, I love you. Zachary, I'm hitting your red buff. Q, W. I wonder why he's not using his Q. It's not going to kill him, but it's pretty good damage. It's a real PTA buff there, too, where I just deal more damage every time I'm hitting him. Alrighty, finish up his red buff, and we got pretty lucky. The respawn scuttle will spawn topside. It's going to allow me to get level 6 before doing the void grubs. I get the empowered form, reset, and then we're really talking, Bob. The reason that the form is so good for Belveth is because it gives you that dash. That dash that can go over walls. Now, Bob, why do you think that's good? A dash that goes over walls. That's right, because you can flank the enemy. You can get into their jungle, in position, and then enter the fight from behind the enemy. Therefore, you're going to have a way better position on the entire fight. They're going to take Dragon. We do not care. We're playing totally for the early tempo to spike mid-game and take the game from there. You have the red buff, you generally want to alternate the auto attacks between these guys, but we do all we can. Oh god, ulti. Oh god. Sorry, I'm gonna have to flash here. If she flashes over, I can Q over. And that is that. Come on, man! Come on, dude! Q E. Holy shit! Q moving. Q. Hell! Schlined. With a capital S right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Recurve bow and back to the top side. Gonna swap to the sweeper. We got that empowered form 180 seconds on the uh, the empowered form here. Giving us HP, movement speed, on hit damage. And also the ability to dash over the wall. So now I can get into a flank position behind bot lane. And have a much better chance of, it, of having a successful gank here. Not going to waste any time with that, I don't think. I'll, these guys are pretty low, so I'll skip my camps and move up with them right now. We already have red buff. And we already have that level 6. And we got a bad guy in the ball lane here. Nice black shield. Q? We're just using the Qs to gain distance here. This guy has ulti. Zachary, you've crossed the line. <clears throat> just going to move right into this guy's jungle. Actually, never mind. The play is done. If I go into his jungle, Braum is there. Alrighty, let's clear our camps. Looking to complete that entire Kraken Slayer. So much for utilizing the empowered form. I can't believe this guy goes back in. Grow up, man. Alrighty, I'm going to help the Zoe push. There's not a real attack on casting here. my raptors too what the fuck bro reset get the kraken slayer get back out on the map would i max the e hell yeah i would 
More points in the E means more of the on-hit damage, more damage reduction, more uh, hits from the E itself. So whenever we're going the Kraken into the Bork, that becomes a very strong combination where we burst the target very, very quickly, as well as endure the burst that they would deal. Whenever they have low amounts of CC, then it becomes super, super potent. For example, if I was 1v1ing the Cassidan, if I use my E during his initial burst, then there's no way he's killing me. And I'm also dealing a ton of damage to him. Stacking up the Kraken Slayer, getting them low, empowering the Coup de Gras, and stacking up the PTA as well. Vayne is level 9. Damn it, she saw me. Sweeper moving. Come on, Zach, I know you're here. QW. Sorty. He has boots of lucidity. I have a Kraken Slayer. Come on, Zach, let's fight. So I fight the Zack just to see what I can get. Can I get your ulti? Can I get your HP? Nothing serious. If you've ever played against like an Azir, it's pretty similar. Nice. Set has tier 2 boots. Nice one. Q, W. Auto, Q, auto, auto, Q, E. Nice, and it hits them even if they're invisible. That was super well played by the set. Empowered form for 60 seconds, so we're going to move into the enemy jungle. Keep maxing that E. And then see if the Kassadin wants to make a misstep here. Because I can dash over the wall with a flank and then get an attack on this bad boy. Unless he does nothing, I'll just take the Void Grubs, that's fine too. Pull them together. Leave the form on the ground for a little bit. So that we maintain the empowered form for longer. Bink, 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 bink. Now we want to save our forward cues here as I enter the enemy jungle. Shit. See if we can't get a red buff. Bink, bink. Red buff into flank top sounds good to me. Let's do this. Vayne probably doesn't have ulti. She doesn't have CDR. Sweep removing Q. And then we're going to... Reset. Tier 2 boots would be nice, but we don't got time for those. Pickaxe, longsword, and to the bot side. Or my bot lane's winning, it's time for me to take that dragon. With the Empowered Form, I have a lot of time to play with, too, where I can skip the camps for now. I'm going to get the level up off the objective, so it's all good for now. It's all good, man. We got the six Void Grubs, too, so when it comes time for mid-game, we can start side laning. Even if I fall behind a little bit on XP here, he's okay. Mm, shit. Flash, W. Auto, Q. Auto. Auto, Q. He's, uh, waiting for Kasten's dash, then immediately hit him with that W. Hit him with the George W. Show him what America's all about. What our country was founded on. Immediately to the Rift Herald, Bob. The camps? No, 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 no. Me 96 CS. Me stay 96 CS. Not 110. No, no, no. Either 140 or 96. You know what I'm saying? Land of the free. No jump on Zach. Auto, auto Q. Auto, auto Q. I think finish the Rift Herald here. He does not care. He's out. Pretty stupid for him to try to solo it, I'll be honest. Nice. I want to push top lane now. If I can take the top lane turret without using the Rift Herald, it's so big for us. Nice. I'm pressuring. Q. Moving. Waiting. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco. She did not move up. Job's done. Reset. Job's not done. Q, W. Push the wave. Q, 
too much, too much. The set might die mid, but I still have a play in the mid lane here. These guys are pushed too far up. Q, moving. Smite. Q, auto, E. Q, W, moving. Auto, auto, Q. Oh, auto, auto, Q? Okay, he's dead. Now we reset. I don't have the whole Bork, but that's okay. Get the components, and then out we go. Now I'm really playing to complete the Bork. For all the action that we had, this is kind of a lull state, so I can spend this time farming. Um, we're entering the mid-game too, so it's around 15 minutes where the soul lane minions will give you more XP. So if I can get any sort of side lane XP going, then we're really talking. That's how I'm going to overtly take over the Zac. Even though we've stayed close in XP for now, level 10 to level 9, I can go to level 16 and he will stay level 12, for example. If I can get the side lane going here. What are you thinking, huh? I'm going to kick your ass, buddy, okay? Just give me a second. Got to take my... Okay, sorty, sorty. Thank you. <clears throat> Honestly, I just want to reset to the bot side. Nothing's happening, man. Waiting for the enemy to make a mistake and punish it. Ulti. It's gonna be cast in TP, but we don't know where their bot lane or jungle is. AKA, run! Leave this guy to die, and then we counter later. Once we have more info. So we see the Zac there, and that becomes an easy play. You're going to die! Mr. Green Monster. I kill. Oh. I maintain the empowered form, so I'm going to push with them, and then we can take the Zach's jungle camps. Whenever you kill a bad guy, man, don't forget, you can hit a turret. Spawn the funny minions. Spawny minion. Or the funny minions will spawn the void grubs. The void grubs will spawn the funny minions. That's a lot of extra minions right there. UW, what are you guys thinking, huh? East Smite. Moving. See you later. I got CC to death. Dude, fuck Braum. He is not our friend. I thought I was free to go in. I thought they invested a lot of abilities onto my team. Not the case. I ate the Braum Q and the Vein Condemn. That will be that. Oh well. Bork and Kraken Slayer. From here I could go more defensive. Uh, the only thing I really see is like Merc Treads. Gives me some magic resist and some tenacity. So we'll do that first. Complete those tier 2 boots gives us more movement speed. And now as we go into the mid game, it's all about the picks I can get. The picks, the farm into the picks, into the side laning. That's what's going to make us Omega Juiced. I didn't skip Gromp. Mm. So with the board completed, this gives us 40 AD, 25% attack speed. The real deal there is the missed edge pass of 20% current HP physical damage on hit. That makes us shred through the Zac, the Kassadin, and the Braum with all those HP items. Slime out a little dragon before the enemy gets here. They don't even care. Why would a Zac be sidelining? You got me. Q. Q. Auto W. Q. Moving. <laughs> One day. Nice. <laughs> and I helped. I can't believe this guy's pushing top. No jungle camps? Alrighty. Time for Baron. You would have to assume that the Zac would reset off that too. Rift Herald gets a bonk, gets half HP on the mid turret. This Baron's gonna be the nail in the coffin here, just seals the deal. I'm not gonna be able to compete with the tempo. This is my ulti reset. I would love to side lane, boys. Merc Treads, uh, I'll get a Ruby Crystal and then a Control Ward. 
to the bot lane. With the Baron buff, it's not time to farm either. We've really just kept pushing the pace of the game. Not even a single like instance to farm, you know? So, with the Baron buff, we only get the red buff or the blue buff, and then it's back out onto the map. In position for a fight, in position for a play. Maxing the Q now. And then looking to push bot lane with the Lucian. Hello. Smite. Auto. Auto. Q. Bink, 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 W. Bink, 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 Q, E. Come on, die, man. Come on, man. Well, that's Zach's ulti, so it's okay. Push. Um, I'm kind of chunk, so I'm not looking for fight. I'm really looking for push. That's the spot out Zach. Listen, don't make fun of me. Not looking for fight. Man, only one of them needs to die, and then boom, ulti, they're all dead. So close. Black Cleaver is going to be our last item. Call fields. Black Cleaver gives us the scaling, AD, HP, ability haste, percentage armor pin. Acts like an on hit item for Belveth. You stack everything up so quickly. The Kraken Slayer and the Black Cleaver reduce the target's armor. And then with the squishier targets like Vayne and Kaisa, it gives us some HP to play against them. Perfectly rounds out the Kraken and Bork because these are both physical damage on hit items. So having the percentage armor pin means that you're going to be dealing good damage to everyone. Especially where we've been playing Tempo too. It's a pretty good third item since we won't be getting to a fourth. Let's get in there, Bob. Boys. Now, instead of going back to our farm, listen, just keep pushing down here. We have two inhibs down, so no one's pushing the side lane. Might as well try to slime up, on, slime in here. If I get a knock up, someone might die. Q, W. Think, think. Okay. I'm focusing the turret. Me personally. Think, think, W. Oh, wrong choice. Q, E, smite. Q. Really, no juice on this one. Boink. Run. Alrighty, let's clean up some camps. After like 50 plays in a row, I suppose it's time to farm. Fine for me to stay on the map too. Don't have to reset for any items. Let's do this. Haven't been able to do that side lighting, so we don't have an overt XP lead, but my team's so much stronger. Just keep combining with my team. 3338. Yeah, I'm a support of Belveth. Yep. My ulti. Looking to dive onto the back line here. Q W. Q E. Nice. They're so dead. GG. Boom. And that is all she wrote, Bob. <laughs> On a scale of one to slime, do you know? Am I a bad guy? I'm just playing the champion. What? Listen. Graves players were doing it for years, but when Belle Beth does it, oh, she's a bad guy. No, I'm supposed to just play it safe. Not me, man. Walk around like an asshole.
Zach is weaker than us early. Set gets pushed in. Cassidy's not a champion. It's time to be an asshole in the enemy jungle early game. Final damage dealt, 1,400. Damage taken, 2,600. GG. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. More Bell Beth coming soon. Alrighty. Peace.